Hello everyone, this is Mandy Dax and I'm making a tutorial about linking nether portals so that they properly work together so that you can fast travel using nether portals and rails. Um, first thing you want to do is find a spot to build your nether portal. Um, I've already laid out some places for uh, them in this world and I'll be skipping around and showing you what to do. Um, first what you want to do is you want to decide where to build your nether portal. Go ahead and uh, press F3 and this will bring up a bunch of data for you. Uh, the ones you're looking for are on the left there in the middle, uh, the X and the Z or Z um, coordinates. So we got 239 and 256. Um, go ahead and write those down and then next to them, uh, you might need to use a calculator, you will want to divide them by 8 and write those numbers next to them. Um, so I got uh, 239 divided by 8 is 30, 256 divided by 8 is 32. So we'll want those when we get to the nether. So what we're going to do now is just quick build our uh, nether portal and you don't actually need the corner pieces. Um, Sometimes it's easier to build them that way. But if you're in a cramped space, you can actually save a couple of pieces of the city in doing that. So we'll go ahead and light this one up. Travel to the nether. Okay, now that we're in the nether, you're going to want to hit F3 again. And we should be near that 30, 32 coordinate. Um, right now we're at 16 and 37. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, find our way to those coordinates. Go ahead and make sure F3 is on, and then find out which direction to go to get there. So the x coordinate is increasing this way. Uh, the z coordinate is decreasing this way. So it should be over here somewhere. So we're looking for 30 and 32. So really went too far to get to the 32. Okay, so the x is at 30 and 32 is this way. Okay, so here's 30, 32. So we have our place where we want to make our nether portal. So we'll go ahead and clear out a nice cavern here light a fire just so we can have some light. I know on a lot of people's last plays it gets really dark even though they can see it on their screen nobody else can when they're watching it on YouTube. So um, what we're going to do is put this there and that that way when we use that portal that we made in the overworld it will actually come out here uh, every time we go through this portal in the nether, it will come out at that portal in the overworld because the coordinates are an exact match. So I'll go ahead and build up another portal and cut right back. Okay, now that another portal is ready, but we're going to want to make sure that the original one is destroyed so that it doesn't, um, doesn't interfere. Okay, now that we've made, disabled the other nether portal, uh, we'll go ahead and light this one up. we should come out at our original portal that we made in the overworld. And here we are. So now we have um, a way to get to the nether and back. It's very reliable and uh, when we build other portals in the overworld they will probably come out unless we build them extremely far away. I'm talking over a thousand blocks away. Uh, it will probably come out to that one we built in the nether already. But um, you may not be able to see it in the distance. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's a village over here. And we're going to go ahead and go up there and build another portal so we'll have fast travel between this one and that one. Okay, so here we are at the, at the village. And I've already made a point where we can put our portal. So we're going to go ahead and build that real quick. Okay, now that this portal has been constructed, uh, we're going to do the same thing we did with the original one. We're going to stand on in the portal before we light it. Find the coordinates. We got 242 and 63. 
divide those each by 8, you'll come up with 30, comma 8. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and light this, travel to the nether, and see where we come out. Now this is the portal that we already made, so um, that's what we are expecting. Now when we go back into this portal, like I said before, it will come out at the original portal because we made sure that the coordinates line up. So here we are at our original portal. So I'm going to go back to the nether and we'll go to those coordinates that we found, 30, 8, and I'll work on a, another portal there. Okay, now I found my coordinates. They're not that far from the original one. And the, the actual closest place to, to put down uh, on the actual ground is way down there. And it's a really steep incline, so I didn't want to have to travel up and down that, use a lot of power rails, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and build it on this same, uh, I made a platform out so that we can build it on the same level, like for uh, a lot quicker travel time. So I'll go ahead and build this one, cut right back. Okay, now we've built the portal, and it's at uh, 30, 8. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and light this one. See where we come out? Should be at the one we made by the village. And here we are by the village. We go back into this portal. We should come out on the one at the platform. It's probably a good idea to make sure that these all work. It shouldn't uh, be a problem because we line up the coordinates exactly. But you never know. Okay, so now that that's all set, let's go find a place to put a third portal, and then we'll we'll link up one in the nether, and then we'll build a little rail system. Okay, so I found this beautiful large cave. I lit it up with lit, uh, lit it up with a bunch of torches, and I found a nice space for uh, another portal right here. So um, we're going to go ahead and build this one here. Now we are at. 324 and minus 150. Make sure that you note the minus. If you go to the wrong coordinates in the nether, you'll end up way off. Um, so 324 and minus 150 uh, correlate to 41 after dividing by 8 and what and negative 19 in the nether. So we'll build the portal here and then travel okay, through to so the we're nether. All set. We're going to go to the nether now. And we'll probably come out at one of the other two portals. Okay, we're on the one on the platform. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and find out where we need to go for that uh, new portal to be at 41 minus 19. So the X goes down that way, so we need to go this way and this way. So it's going to be somewhere over there, maybe near that lava flow. So I'll go ahead and build a platform out okay, there. Okay, so we built right our, our um, platform out again, and I have a place for the third portal. You see they're pretty close to being in a line, but this one's a lot further away from the first one than the second one. So we're going to go ahead, build our portal here, and do remember negative signs. I'm going to go ahead and light this up. We should come out and the cavern where we built the third portal. And here we are. Excellent. So now we can travel this distance in very short order. Now at this range you might not want to bother with a uh, rail system because you can simply walk or sprint back and forth. Um, but if you're building things that are you know, hundreds of blocks away from each other, you might want to go ahead and do that. But let's say that this original spawn point is where we build our home, but we want an alpha base down in that cavern. It's very simple to go through. Uh, another thing that you'll want to note is if you, if you want to run through a portal, you can, because it does take a couple of seconds for it to catch you and take you through. So that's how to link nether portals. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And um, I might try doing 
few more tutorials in the meantime. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.